morning. Ugh, breakfast. Ugh, yeah. High boiled eggs, chopped sausage, onions, peppers, zucchini. Dropped a bit. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. It's good stuff. Good food. Mm, mm. In the background, you might hear the geese. A lot of geese. Oh, yeah. Bloody great squadrons of the damn things. Yeah. Mm. There they go. Yeah. Practicing up for their big flight south. Canada geese enjoy their Caribbean vacations. Yeah, for three months, four months, they get to terrorize people someplace else. <laughs> Bloody hell. They are scary birds. Every single one of them remembers when their ancestors were dinosaurs. Oh yeah, it's a little bit terrifying. Yeah. Religious fundamentalism. Religious fundamentalism does not mean religion. It means religious fundamentalism, and there is a clear difference between them. That said, religious fundamentalism is evil. It is more evil than Canada geese. And Canada geese are fucking scary. But religious fundamentalism is far worse. And it doesn't matter which religion you're a fanatic about. When you're a fanatic, you're a fanatic. And fanatics are driven by a compulsion to harm anybody who exists outside of their incredibly narrow parameters of what they consider acceptable. It's not just atheists. It's not just people who uh, have darker skin than they have. It's not just gay people and trans people, poor people. It's everybody, even each other. Religious fundamentalists hate each other. And we're not just talking about American Christian fundamentalists hating Iranian Islamic fundamentalists. We're talking about Iranian Islamic religious fundamentalists hating other Iranian religious fundamentalists and American Christian fundamentalists hating other American Christian fundamentalists. And that hate is expressed in this compulsion towards incredible violence, held in check only by secular laws, which they know will punish them if they act upon their religious fanaticism. Which is why religious fanatics want to get rid of secular law. If they can redefine murder to exclude killing somebody who is not a part of their particular branch of their particular religion, then they'll be happy because then they can go out on a killing spree. And as long as they only kill people who are not part of their group, perfectly justified. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if you are a Christian fundamentalist fanatic, if you are an Islamic fundamentalist fanatic, if you are a Jewish fundamentalist fanatic, if you're a Hindu fundamentalist fanatic, 
what matters is that you are a fundamentalist fanatic. And fundamentalist fanatics are terrifying people. And they're not just dangerous to people outside their religion. They're dangerous to moderates and reasonable people within their own religion as well. The harm done by these fanatics is incalculable. And you can't reason with fanatics. The whole point of fanaticism is that it is completely unreasoning. How do you deal with fanatics? Well, you make damn sure they don't gain political power. And you make damn sure they don't gain military power. And you make sure they don't gain legal power. Oh, and uh, corporate capitalism is a religion whose fundamentalists already have political, military, legal power. <sighs> oh, sneezing. So that's something to think about. They've already got political, military, and legal power. So we're kind of screwed. We're kind of screwed. The good news is that none of the ancient gods have received any sacrifices in the last several hundred years. So there's a good chance that those ancient gods may, in fact, rise up and smack the shit out of all the batshit crazy fanatics who are recklessly endangering all of humanity. And that would certainly be nice. Because, yeah, fanatics are scary. Fanatics are scary. Something to think about. Ta-ta. <sighs>